my head, guys. I'm all stuffed up. What the fuck? This gets any worse to where I can't be able to sleep and stuff. I'll have to go to the doctor there. again either oh man oh better get dressed and take hydroprofen here for my head I maybe blow my nose a couple of times oh man you guys alright I'm dressed it's a north thing you won't understand you wouldn't, excuse me. And guess what? Guys, I poured... Okay, where did that bottle go? Oh, right here. <laughs> Listen to this. This is on like three in there. I'll show it to you myself. I poured... A handful. Look at this. A handful. It's not three. So I can wait until later to get more. <laughs> There's probably 11. I maybe <laughs> take away that. <laughs> and here's one right here. <laughs> Someone is vacuuming upstairs. And I told you. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I told you I would um, taste test this cafe latte monster java. So here we go. Mm, it smells good like regular coffee. Kind of tastes like mocha. It's not that bad. I'm taking hydroprofen. Yeah, I'll tell Curly Sue on Tuesday that my that I am backed up with my sinuses. I think she should run a COVID test too. If I get COVID again, then no meeting in her se in session with uh, my therapist or with Dad. She's feeling like shit. So yeah, I wouldn't need this a new bottle for a while. <laughs> that saved me time. <sighs> so what am I gonna do today? At my Thanksgiving video, and at yesterday's video, watch a movie maybe, do some schoolwork. Oh, where's my Eeyore? <laughs> oh, here he is, right very over here. <laughs> Yellow, I'm sounding like Papa Piglet. <laughs> you're not a piglet, you're Eeyore. <laughs> That'd be cute if they come up with a piglet one. <laughs> See, it's a flash drive. If anyone 
find anything like that on Amazon, send me a link in the comments. I want a big storage. Okay? A piglet one. I'll search for it myself, but I hardly have the money right now. So I'll put it on my wish list. I really have to wait until this headache goes away first to do any homework. Oh, man. Okay. And I saw that movie Five Nights at Freddy's or something with uh, Shaylee, and it was weird. It was about these, you know, like these um, electronic um, uh, animals killing people. It was I don't know. And wanted to can kill a kid after it kidnaps it or something. It was like too weird. <laughs> like what? So, all right. She thinks that he doesn't want to be cured as he never listens to her. In response, the doctor once again asks her to get out and have some fun. He suggests that she take a short holiday. That night, Lena sees Lawrence in her dream. They are swimming together in the pond and are about to kiss. When she suddenly jolts awake, she realizes that she is falling for him. She then writes some notes in her personal diary before going back to sleep. At Chamberlain University, we believe in having each other's backs. We believe leading with care makes caring leaders. And after 130 years of advancing healthcare, we believe that's why more nurses choose Chamberlain University. Barbie Dream Maker is an ad for Barbie, paid for by Mattel. Thanks, Mattel. Hey everyone, it's Dahlia. I'm here with the Epic Dream House at an Epic Real House, where six kids will dream up their own creative Barbie. She's a distracted teenager, not a devoted mother. We are picking up her mother duties. Tanya Dawn started getting in trouble at 14. She stole the car and she got into a high-speed chase. I brought my niece into my home so that she would have a safe place to live. If she violates her probation, she can go to prison for four years. This is a major crossroads in her life. One more bad decision, and she's done. I'm the disciplinarian of the family. I'm a hard ass. He sells drugs. I don't freaking do drugs with him, and I don't freaking sell drugs with him. They call me the warden. My sister Denise does not discipline her daughter. My niece is not care for her. <laughs>
who had it diagnosed in labor because something just didn't seem right and you don't so you don't always have like a, a visible opening on this side it's there it's just it can look very much like it's adjacent to the uterus and you don't always see it both sides can be fully functional i guess we'll talk about the first news story before we get to the midwife stuff because it's relevant to what we're talking about so but the fallopian tubes are normal and then the ovaries form from a different set of structures um, as well. So, make interestingly, about themselves, <laughs> what they want in life. But they usually grow out of it by the time they're 14, 15. <laughs> that didn't happen for Carolyn. She was making lists when she was 20. Everything with Carolyn went to the extreme. sauce on top. Make it sweeter. That's my delivery. positively not an unfit mother. I never did anything to hurt my daughter. Hannah and I were extremely close and did everything together. This is most of our clothes and some of our toys. This is so hard to go through them and stuff. I can still smell her in the, in the clothes. Well, as I mentioned earlier, both Stacy and her boyfriend Eric are currently on trial for allegedly burning her daughter with cigarettes. They both agreed to take a lie detector. <laughs>
the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My friends, on this last Sunday of the liturgical year, we celebrate... <laughs> documents like to play hide and seek. They're not easy to find, especially when you need them the most. But paperless statements from Go Vantage Credit Union are very, very easy to find. And right now, you can go paperless and win at Co Vantage Credit Union. Enroll in Co Vantage's paperless statements now through November 5th and get a chance to win $250. 18 lucky winners, $250 each. When you go paperless, you'll cut down on clutter and protect your personal information. You can access and analyze past statements up to seven years. Years. No more paper hide and seek. Paperless statements from CoVantage are ready to be several days before the paper versions arrive later. on yourself. <laughs> Holiday scratch. <laughs> into the tissues, into the muscles that would indicate a glow. Then on the skin. She doesn't have any of that. She doesn't have any good fractures. <laughs> tissue, more hemorrhage in her lungs. She's probably coughing up some of this blood, swallowing it, and vomiting it, which is making her feel even worse. By the time Eugenie's mother takes her to the clinic, the staph infection is on its way to killing her. 
and unfortunately she is misdiagnosed with the flu and sent home with anti-nausea medication. She could have died just from the extent of the bleeding. what they're having to go through but you know what the main thing is they just want the truth they just want to know that somebody cares and is going to try to get the answers for them and I think after talking to me they felt confident that I was was going to give them the answers of the best I could Dr. G then learns from the family that the night of his death Robert what, what are you going to do about it? <laughs> See the two shots go off? Yeah, I heard. Who fired the shots? Steve fired the shots. Steve fired the shots. Did you see Steve fire the shots? Yes. Bo was an extremely biased witness. He admitted that he'd been told he'd get charged if he didn't name Steve as having done this. So he had a, an axe to grind. He didn't want to get charged with murder. Now, what happened when Steve ran out the transferase 2 deficiency is also something that is sometimes diagnosed in neonates like babies and I I almost want to say that it is on the newborn screening um, newborn screening for CPT2 can be done okay yeah so some of the newborn screens in the US you know when babies get their heel poked after birth to test for various genetic conditions, some of those test for CPT2 deficiency. Now, interestingly, there are kind of two subsets of this, and I, like, the one that affects me. I think I was finally starting to see a future without him, and I, I didn't know how to face it. So Bridget held me, and we cried, and we talked for what felt like hours. Took over his care. It was just amazing how many injuries that he'd had. In fact, it took 10 months to get his legs to where he could bend and straighten them effectively. For a long time, I didn't want to live, but my sister and all my close friends gave me a lot of love. All of them really, really pulled me through this. Just to get a little wind, okay? That's it. That's a 300 yard. He's doing great. He's working out, going places. He's back to normal. I do believe that was the last question. Now, I made a book. That's really, there was people who were actually happy with me. Let's say I had my stuff. I took it with myself. Your turn. Take shot. Perfect shot. Win.
Yeah, you guys, I'm going to go to bed really soon, you know, just to see how I feel with extra sleep. Um, again, I see my doctor's nurse practitioner this Tuesday. Again, I hope she doesn't cancel. <laughs> I fucking hope not. And um, I just want to run a COVID test there just in case. I don't like the home test, like I said before. I don't like the home test, so... I like the in office doctor test more better. So it could be nothing at all. Oh my god, why are the police here? I just noticed that. Holy crap. The police is here for what now? Oh my god, you guys. See that? <laughs> just realized that but yeah um so in case if i forget good night now if my um if my scheduled app doesn't turn on so mom you know the rules no noises or whatever only put out fires if you see a spark start to happen and yes you hug and kiss that granddaughter kitty patty for me Oh, I just love that cat like there's no tomorrow. Again, I wish there was like this serum like they have like on that movie Death Becomes Her to give to the cat that you love the most. You know what I mean? It's just so hard to explain, you know. I fucking miss her. I fucking miss her. I know I shouldn't swear, the, swear her like I said I shouldn't be doing, but you know. I swear it's something like this. I fucking miss her and I fucking love that cat so fucking ass much. And I fucking love my cousin Austin so fucking much. Is that a sin to say? <laughs> it's like you love someone so very, very much you can't let them go and you just want to hug them and kiss them and hug them and kiss them and hug them and kiss them and hug them and kiss them. There's no tomorrow. Hmm. I wonder what is going on over here. People get busted a lot for um smoking pot or something here. <laughs> I hope that's not the case. I'm a good girl. I follow the rules. I don't smoke illegal drugs, that's for sure. <sighs> I don't know. Mostly old folks are living in here, so I'm confused who it could be. But I'm not going to put my nose into it. So. I'm going to do some work tomorrow. Once I feel so much better. Like I'm feeling better now. But it's almost time for bed you know. And my eyes are getting fucked up. Like with eye stringies and such. So. Yeah. Alright. Patty I love you like crazy. I really, really love the beep, 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 beep. thinking for a while now. <sighs> I feel like I got a yawn, so excuse me. <sighs> okay, I bought the cafe, I bought the turkey dinner. Sunday special. They have roast chicken. Maybe I should try that. I don't know. Well, if I feel like in the mood to walk over there, if it's not too cold, and if I don't feel like crap like I did this morning, then yes. Otherwise, I should say, save my money. Shave my money? 
I gotta shave it. Is it hairy, Nora? Is your money hairy? <laughs> Save my money. I almost said shave. <laughs> Good lord. So that's what I was thinking. It's a maybe to try that. Otherwise, there's next week, Sunday or something. Shave my money. Good lord. <laughs> Ooh, the snot bubble almost popped out of my nose. Gross. And I laughed like that. Yep. Pick like gave his girlfriend a kiss, didn't you? <clears throat> Shave my money and give me a break. I'm gonna get going to bed here on my nose because of the air bubble. It's not bubble, I mean. Alrighty. Whew. I've been trying to poop all this time. <laughs> I give up. I guess when I poop, I gotta poop. But I have anxiety now. Like, if I'm dreaming and if I gotta poop then when I'm asleep, I'd be like looking for a toilet thinking I gotta pinch a loaf really bad. So that would be annoying as fuck, you guys. <laughs> and I'm like thinking, I don't want to have that happen. So baby Jesus, please wake me up so I can shit. In reality, not shit in my dream. I wonder if you shit in your dream, you're shitting in reality, too. <laughs> so weird questions, I think, up, huh? And I'm forgetting to play bingo. I'm going to finish getting ready for bed. And uh, and then um, by that time, my next uh, scheduled app will turn on. So, see you soon again the hugger and kisser and sicker lots of kisses and a belly rub near and near to my kitty daughter after all Wear socks to bed. <clears throat> I can't catch a break. <sighs> I hope it fucking stopped. I had to pinch the clothes for like. Five minutes or something. Like I'm telling myself, maybe there's like this humongous blood clot up there. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I gotta do it like that and like, get it hard. <laughs> and then all the blood will push out of my nose. You know? Because now I'm nervous to go to sleep. Fucking edge, damn it. Maybe I'll do that and then I'll pinch my nose to see if there's any more blood coming. I don't know if I should do that or not. <sighs> hey guys, Merry Christmas! You guys all been good and practicing real hard. Merry Christmas! Bloody hell, guys. It's really bad now. Shit. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's like period blood. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, God. It's gross. Ew. <laughs> Be right back. Oh, fuck. I gotta turn this off. I think it finally stopped. For real this time. <laughs> when I was like, I pulled up, I pushed it back in for a couple of minutes like that. When it was wet. Held my, pinched my nose shut. And then like, I think there's more of the blood clots up there. So I grabbed a dry one. I went, 
<laughs> one more time and it came like this little blood clot line a blood clot it was like a big black clot but a little one and then i painted my nose and no more blood so i guess that's my trick guys i'm sorry for no warning ahead or whatever but you know um i'm sorry if i just grossed you out you there's still blood on the uh, in the sink It's like I struck a wheel. <laughs> At least I brushed my teeth. I was just thinking to myself, oh, I wonder if I could take this. Uh... Here, I'll show it to you. I wonder if I could take this. And I'm like thinking, oh, but I gotta get a big glass. Because I decided um, that that uh, bottle I have been putting fresh water in was tasting a little off. Because I've been using it too many times. So I'm going to not use it anymore. And then I'm like, wait, I feel like my nose is runny. And I went like this with my finger and it was like red. I'm like, shit. So that's how it happened. I didn't do anything. I was just walking around. I'm like, wait, how come my nose feels runny? Like I get it. Um, I grab a tear sheet and I'm like, I like that. It was blood. That's how it all happened. So. I'm just gonna do that later. Just wait until nature takes its course. Again, I'm sorry for the, you guys if you have weak stomachs. <laughs> oh well, huh? <sighs> and the aftermath. Look away, guys, if you have weak stomachs. <laughs> That's the aftermath. <laughs> it's like a period central, only without. Going on my bottom end, it was like my top end, get it? Ew. <laughs> I struck oil, alright. <sighs> so, I'm just only go like that if I need water. Just buy a, another Gatorade and, and you drink that up and use that bottle. Okay, I was done. God. <clears throat> Maybe I'll have an apple for breakfast and with the cinnamon, grown cinnamon. That'll help me get things loose. So again, I'll wait and see how I feel tomorrow. If I want to try the roast chicken dinner instead of the turkey. Alrighty. That's all up to me. <sighs> God, this was so annoying. All right. Bye. B8. O68. N36. Round over. Alright, now um, I played bingo like I promised myself I would. So, that last card, I played three cards. That last card, I only got like three matches. <laughs> that was a sucky card. I'm like, what in the hell? They're calling and calling them like, this is a sucky card. This card sucks. <laughs> it's like waste of credits. Like, what the fuck? But yeah, anyway. That was my first card play right there, what I show you. So, I'm going to head off. I'm going to turn on the light in the bathroom like I always do. That timer thingy and get going to sleep kind of thirsty again, so. Yeah, that was weird with my nosebleed. 
On the 24th, it bled a little, and then on the 25th, it came out like a, like I struck oil or something. Okay. I'm going to get a drink of water from the faucet. See you later. I'm in New Tredegar in South Wales, where Haley Jones met her partner, Brian Lewis, when he was 18 and she was just 13. The couple had four children, but their relationship hit the rocks when he lost his job. Haley took to Facebook as an escape, but Lewis grew angry about the time she spent online. He became increasingly insecure mm -hmm. that he was losing control of her as she forged a new independence and developed new friendships. Lewis's frustration mounted until he eventually snapped. Quarantine together for two weeks. So she told her that she would need to keep Mika at her house for two more weeks. Amanda, for whatever reason, agreed to this. If it was my kid, I tell you, I don't care. They're coming home with me. They're not spending another two weeks at a friend's house. No way, but that's just me. So more than two weeks later, when the quarantine period should have been over on November 20th, Brandy showed up at Amanda's house, but she didn't have Mika with her. She told Amanda that Mika was on her way to the hospital, but it was only because she was sick. She was just sick, nothing else After a major blood vessel ruptured. That's a little bit of karma. Well, thank you for listening to all of Grace's story today. I'm a little bit aggravated that the girlfriend, Catherine, didn't face any charges. She lived in that house. She had to have known about the abuse that was going on. And she lived in the house after Grace was murdered, when her body was upstairs in the attic in the closet, a closet that she also used. I forgot to mention that. And she didn't know. She definitely knew. And poor Grace all that she had to go through in her life. And she seemed like such a sweet young girl.